All right, there's a bunch of different types of plots, and this just happens to be one called the stem and leaf plot, where basically what you do is you take the first number, and that becomes what they call the stem, and then the second number becomes the leaf. Now, in this case, this example, that the, the stem unit would be in tens. So, and why? Because in other words, that's gonna be your first value. So in the tens place, remember, um, the second value would be in the ones place. So all you do is it's one of these things that, oh, it's easy once you know how to do it, right? Is you take each one of these first numbers, and so I can see three, five, six, eight, and you don't repeat, nine, and then 10. So that's the stem. A lot of times they'll put a straight down line. Those are not ones. So a straight down line to say, okay, now what comes next is the leaf. Well, that's just the second number. So four, 57, 68. Now here's where it's tricky. You have to put each one of these. So seven, eight, nine, and you don't even put commas. 90, you do have to put the zero. One, you do repeat because what this is telling me is that I have two 91s. And then of course, 100 would look like this. And so it's, it's kind of nice now because something like this, I can basically see, which is weird if you turn your head sideways, you're kind of seeing a graph here. And, and that's the whole point of this. And so what I'm looking at is each, let's say the frequency of each one of these. Well, the frequency is just the count. So there's one, 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 three, four, and one. All right, so that's pretty much it. There's not really a quick or easier way to do a stem and leaf plot, but that's all it takes to do one by hand.